A super habitable planet is a world that might have an even better chance at hosting life than our own home, Earth. Because Earth is the only known inhabited planet, and its life depends on liquid water, efforts to identify exoplanets that could host life focus on Earth-like worlds. But some researchers think that there are other types of planets that could offer conditions for life as good as or even better than Earth. In fact, some scientists argue that focusing only on Earth-like worlds might be too anthropocentric and geocentric, blinding us to the possibilities of exobiology. Out of all the planets in the universe, Earth is clearly the best for life. Right? Wrong. Earth may be great, but scientists have discovered a few worlds that could be even better for life. Behold, KOI 5715.01. Most of the contenders on our superhabitable planet list aren't the ones you could visit anytime soon. They are very, very far away. The top spot is held by one 3,000 light years away from our solar system. KOI 5715.01 would appear to satisfy the most basic requirement for supporting life. It exists in the Goldilocks zone of its star. So conditions wouldn't be too hot or too cold for a key life-supporting ingredient to exist on its surface, which is liquid water. But it would also need to check off many boxes to be considered super habitable. The planetary system it belongs to could be about 5.5 billion years old, which would make it around 1 billion years older than our own solar system. And the planet would almost fit the size requirement. When looking for super habitable worlds, scientists keep their eyes peeled for planets that have a mass up to 1.5 times than that of our planet. And they should be about 10% larger too. This size difference would help the planet retain heat. And if its average temperature was about 5 degrees Celsius or 8 degrees Fahrenheit higher than Earth's, this exoplanet could have even richer biodiversity. Well, being almost double the size of Earth, KOI 5715.01 might overshoot this condition a bit. Besides, studies indicate that this planet is actually colder than Earth. But there's still hope. With the right atmospheric composition, a strong greenhouse effect could raise temperatures to the desired level. And as far as the superhabitable worlds go, we're just getting started. Approximately 2,700 light years away would be the Kepler 69c. This super Earth could be around 7 billion years old. This puts it perfectly in the estimated 5 to 8 billion age range for superhabitable planets. This range is based on the 3.5 billion years it took for complex life to appear on Earth. So the best chance for finding life could be on a planet a little older than us. Only this exoplanet could be a little too big to be super habitable. It has a mass four times than that of the Earth. A rocky planet this big could have a single colossal continent that would have huge deserts in its center. But the coastline washed by Kepler's ocean could be your next perfect spot to move to. Our next super-Earth shares a similar name, Kepler-1126b, except it would be located ever so slightly closer to home. This planet is about 2,073 light-years away and belongs to a system that is 7.5 billion years old. It also orbits a yellow dwarf star much like our own. Only Kepler-1126b is 2.5 times closer to its star than Earth is to the Sun. But that's no big deal because the star Kepler-1126b orbits on is cooler than ours. So the habitable zone would exist in a range much closer in proximity to it. If you aren't feeling this nearness to a scorching hot star, there's another super-Earth on our list. And it's at a reasonable distance from home. Speculus 2c is located only 106 light years away. Not that its proximity gives it any kind of advantage. It would still take you well over 200,000 years to travel to this super Earth. And that's if you moved at the speed of NASA's Parker Solar Probe, the fastest probe ever launched.
Speculus 2C does look promising, though. It's a part of a system that is 7 billion years old. It's about 40% larger than Earth. There's also potential for it being a rocky planet, just like ours. Despite the fact that it also exists in a habitable zone, its red dwarf star is still very small. It's only about 15% the size of our sun. So, this planet orbits around the star at a very close distance. This close distance could mean that Speculus 2c is tidally locked to its star. This super-Earth takes 8.5 days to make one full rotation on its axis, as well as one orbit around its star. That would leave one side of the planet in constant daylight, with the other in endless night. All this means is that life could be possible in the Terminator Zone, the thin strip of land between these two sides. We just need to get a better look to find out for sure. But with all of these candidates so far away, wouldn't it be nicer if the planets in our own solar system were a little more habitable? Earth is about 4.5 billion years old, so the researchers speculated the sweet spot for life would be a planet between 5 billion to 8 billion years old. The size and mass of a planet can also influence how well it can support life, the researchers wrote. A rocky planet that is larger than Earth would have more habitable surface area and potentially a thicker, more stable atmosphere. A planet with about 1.5 times Earth mass would likely retain its interior heat longer, which in turn would help keep its core molten and its protective magnetic field active for a greater time span in which life might have the chance to arise and evolve. Worlds that are slightly warmer than Earth by about 8 degrees Fahrenheit or 5 degrees Celsius might be super habitable. Since they could have a larger tropical zones which on Earth foster more biodiversity. However, warmer planets might also need more moisture, since greater heat could expand deserts. Solch Makutsch's own favorite potentially superhabitable world from these 24 was KOI 5554.01. This planet is about 6.5 billion years old, with a diameter of 0.72 to 1.29 times than that of Earth orbiting a yellow dwarf about 700 light-years from Earth. I really like the average surface temperature, about 27 degrees Celsius or 80 degrees Fahrenheit, Solch Makuch said, and it's probably about Earth's size and a little bit older than Earth. All 24 of these potentially superhabitable planets are more than 100 light-years from Earth. This makes them too far for NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, or TESS, spacecraft to capture high-quality images from to learn more about them. Still, Solch Makush noted that future spacecraft such as the newly launched James Webb Space Telescope, NASA's LeVar Space Observatory Mission Concept, and the European Space Agency's Plato Space Telescope could shed light on these worlds. We caution that while we search for superhabitable planets, that doesn't mean that they necessarily contain life, Solch Makush said. A planet can be habitable or superhabitable, but uninhabited.